You know, for too long the focus has been on getting our youngsters to vote when they turn 18. But the problem is we haven't taught them before that uh, how valuable the right to vote is and how valuable their citizenship is. Uh, I've been privileged to work with students who are younger than 18 and I really love working with the elementary school students, teaching them who they are, that they have a role in our society as a citizen, and they get very excited about it when they're young because it helps build their knowledge about who they are in their community and they get to hear their voice. All too often our grade school children are taught to the test and they're taught that something's right or wrong, there's a right or wrong answer. But when you ask them about the law, the Constitution, you bring them into the courtroom and tell them about it, the government and they express their views and they hear their voice, there is no right or wrong answer and they can contribute and have ideas that are valuable and sometimes they have the best ideas. They're not jaded, they are really creative and they use a lot of common sense. So I love working with the youngsters who are just figuring out who they are and through the initiative of the Rendell Center for Civics and Civic Engagement I've been able to bring students into the courtroom and conduct mock trials on really fun topics, topics they know like Lion King or um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears uh, and they get to play a role and they get to think outside the box and it's interesting when we go into the jury room to deliberate to hear the reasons that they think one side or the other should win and very often it's common sense uh, and they come up with arguments and reasons that judges like myself don't often come up with because, as I said, they're not jaded, they don't have preconceived notions, and they love to express their ideas. I wish I could let all the teachers know how willing and interested lawyers and judges are in coming into the classroom. We did a survey several years ago, and teachers said they were reluctant to teach civics and the Constitution because they hadn't been trained in those areas. Well, we have resources who know what they're talking about when they talk about the Constitution and our form of government, and that is lawyers and judges. And lawyers and judges love to come in and share their knowledge of the Constitution and of our government with students. And very often we find that when the lawyers and judges come in, the children listen more and they learn better because somebody who didn't have to be there has come into the classroom. And they respect that in their own way. And I've found going into schools, fourth graders, fifth graders, eighth graders, I get the attention of the students because they know that I didn't have to do this. I could be in my courtroom doing my work, and when I leave, I'm going to have to do the work that I didn't do while I was there. But they appreciate it. And they love the fact that I'm teaching them. But not only that, I'm listening to them. And I want to understand their views and where they're coming from in talking about freedom of speech, search and seizure, the right to jury trial, they have ideas and we should be listening to them.